Okay, the next step is to get rid of these lines here. So we're just going to click on the line, hit delete. And now you can choose a design that you like on uh, Google Images. Save it somewhere where it's easy to find. So a JPEG or a, a ping works well, like an image. And then you have to import it into Fusion 360 because that will be on your computer and 360 is web-based, like it's cloud-based. So I'm going to click on the data panel here, show data panel. Now this is, I already have it in here, but I'll just show you how to bring it in. So you hit upload and you can select files. already have it, like I said, but I'll uh, say Fox logo there and upload. So now that it's in here, the, the folder doesn't matter. Now you could um, really you won't have as much stuff as me, I don't think. So the next step, we got to bring that photo on here on our, our rectangle. Now the reason why I deleted those lines is because we had like six different rectangles here and it would make the overlay very small. So that's why I deleted the lines. They were like construction lines. So I'm going to go insert canvas. It's going to ask you to, you know, ask for the folder. Now that's, these are all pings, so they'll work fine. Insert. Now the canvas menu appears. The sketch menu is still active. The canvas menu appears. So it wants you to select a face. Just select that face there. Now I like the size that it is right now. I notice that Fusion is pretty good at sizing things. If you want to make it larger, smaller, you drag this corner one here and just make it bigger or smaller, but I don't really want to. Let's do it again. <coughs> so I'm going to leave it. You could also move it left to right, up and down, but I'm okay. I'm okay with what it, where it is. You could also rotate it. You could use these tools here with your cursor. You can enter actual distances. And then I'll hit OK. So that's my canvas. Now the machine won't recognize this. We have to create a sketch using this as like a on overlay. So I can minimize this data panel now. Now let's say you just get this done in one session and you want to take a break. You could hit finish sketch here and then just keep editing your sketch. So I'm going to expand this sketch panel. Edit sketch. Now once I do this my canvas disappears. So I have to bring the canvas in again. So if you don't do this all in one sitting, you'll just have to bring in your your uh, image again. And it brings it back to the same place, which is nice. Don't forget to hit OK. All right, I'm going to go, you know, I won't do the entire object, but I'll go through the process that I use to uh, draw a sketch under this. So I'm going to create some points. Now this is a very subtle arc, but I'm going to choose a point at the beginning, the end. And you notice it wants to lock me in. I can't really move my cursor too far off, so I'm going to zoom right in with my middle mouse wheel and just select that. It's a little larger, but I like the way it looks. Now here I see a line 
kind of a linear segment and then an arc. So I'll create a line here and it should snap to the, the points you made. Now I'm still drawing lines so I hit escape then you can use create arc three points. You gotta choose the beginning of the arc, the end of the arc, and the middle. Beginning and middle. I won't draw the whole thing, um, but that's a basic idea. You just trace around the object how you want it. A couple things you wanna keep in mind. You wanna have a one continuous contour if you can help it. Try not to have lines broken and try not to have any little line segments that don't lead anywhere because when, it, when, um, when you go to create a cutter path for this it leads to some complications. So I'll just do a little bit more and I'll show you what I mean here. So that I see that as an arc. Two arcs. One arc ends there and then the other arc kind of ends here. Remember if it's trying to lock you in, just zoom in a bit. Now I'm still drawing points. I'm going to hit escape use this pan tool. If you click anything on this menu here, you're still in it. So just hit escape. It won't let you do anything until you hit escape. Now I can go back to the drawings again. So I'm going to create an arc, three points, one, start, and middle. Start and middle, start, and middle. I see that as a line there. Start, the end, the middle. Now these white points here are centers of arcs. You could see when I hover over the point it shows which arc center it is. Now I was talking about overlap. Let's say I go too far with this line. When we go to program this, so I could cut on a CNC machine, this is going to confuse our, our software. So you want to avoid that if you can. Let's say this is where I wanted it. I can just click on the trim, trim that, and trim that. Now, if I change my mind about something, I could always hit the Control Z at the same time, and it undoes my last move. So let's try it again. Let's do a line here, and then an arc escape. Create arc three points. Now I clicked the wrong point, so I'm going to try that again. I'm trying to, I'm striving for one continuous line for the, for this and one continuous kind of, you know, chain, it's called the chain, one continuous chain of lines for the inside. And these will be closed shapes, the eyes will be closed shapes. So I'm uh, going to go to the finished. I won't go, you know, this will take me a while to do, so I'll be back in a second.